In the indigenous religion of the ancient Tagalogs, Bartholomew Makapal was the transcendent supreme being, the originator and ruler of the universe. He is commonly known and referred to in the modern era as Bartholomew, a term or title which in earlier times also applied to lesser beings such as personal tutory spirits, omen birds, comets, and other heavenly bodies which the early Tagalog people believed predicted events. It was after the arrival of the Spanish missionaries in the Philippines in the 16th century that Bartholomew Makapal came to be identified with the Christian God, hence its synonymy with Diros. Over the course of the 19th century, the term Bartholomew was totally replaced by Pananun Lord and Diros God. It was no longer used until it was popularized again by Filipinos who learned from chronicles that the Tagalog's indigenous god was called Bartholomew. Most scholars believed that Bartholomew Chirino 1595 to 1602, Baudala Placentia 1589, Baitala Lorca 1582, or Bactala Boxer Codex 1590 was derived from the Sanskrit word Batara or Bataraka to noble lord which appeared as the 16th century title Betara in the southern Philippines and Borneo. In the Indonesian language, Betara means God, its feminine counterpart is Betari. In Malay, Betara means holy and was applied to the greater Hindu gods in Java. Betara was also assumed by the ruler of Majapahit. April 2015, 72 other possible origins of the term Bartholomew or Betala are the Malay word Berla idol 8 and the Arabic expression Allah to allow God be exalted, which is the origin of Bartholomew's other name Anatala. The name of the supreme being of the Tagalogs was given as Betala in relation to Las Vislas Filipinas 1582 by Miguel de Lorca, Bartholomew Michael in relation to Las Islas Filipinas 1595 1602 by Pedro Chirino Badala in relation to Las Costumbres de los Tagalos 1589 by Juan de Placentia. Bactla Napal Nanka Kalpla Salahat Bartholomew Nakumapal at Nangangalaga Salahat God the Creator and Preserver of all things Mulari Molari Molaya and Diota in the Boxer Codex 1590 Anatala and in Megama and Sobala Idolatria de los Naturales de la Provincia de Zambales y de los del Pueblo de Santo Tomas y Otros Circumcenos 1686-1688 by Felipe Pardo O.P. and Bartholomew Michael and Duarte in the History of Sumar containing an account of the government laws, customs and manners of the native inhabitants, with a description of the natural productions, and a relation of the ancient political state of that island. 1784 by William Marsden. The true name of this deity, however, is actually unknown and the ancient Tagalogs usually referred to and addressed him under several titles and epithets. Jose Rizal in his letter to his friend Ferdinand Blumentritt, 17 April 1890, wrote that the word Bartholomew was an error of Chirino or some missionary older than or ahead of him who had been copied by subsequent historians, because according to him the majority of the historians of the Philippines were mere copyists. He believed that the phrase Bartholomew Makapal that was adopted by other historians after Chirino was nothing more than the phrase Bahala and Makapal wrongly written that is equivalent to Allah or Allah of the Muslims or to the Malayan Chuan Allah Punya Kraja. This is because Bahala and Makapal means God will take care of meaning given also in a dictionary to the phrase Bartholomew Makapal. The fact that the phrase Bartholomew Makapal was so often encountered made Rizal presume that it may only have been a copy, and that another source where the word Bartholomew was used without the denomination Makapal could not be found. Rizal believed that the Tagalogs never pronounced the name of their god just as they did, not pronounce the names of their parents, especially before strangers whom they considered their greatest enemies. He believed that they only called him Makapal, a designation still used and understood by most Tagal Oaks today. He also pointed out that there was no trace at all of the name Bartholomew among the Tagalogs in the local towns, despite the fact that they used words such as Tikbalang, Aswang, and Nito Nuno Tianak, Etsy, and retained many pagan usages, traditions, legends, and stories. He believed that the old missionaries did not take much interest in getting to know the religion of the Tagalogs.
On account of their religious zeal the missionaries considered the Tagalog's religion unworthy and diabolical and as a result, they never undertook a thorough investigation of it. Facebolo de los Ruas, the name of the Tagalog supreme god was Makapal or Lumica, and hence they called their sacred images Lyca and not Badala since the latter was not a specific name, but a common treatment of deities, ominous beings and other fabulous beings that they feared. Thus there was Badala Makapal Lord Maker Badala Kachuchubok and born Lord Anito and Badala Tigmamanok, or Blue Bird, which actually referred to the Kase Kase Kingfisher. Their names were Badala, like comets, not because they were gods, but because they were ominous. The word was pronounced Badala and not Bathala, as an enlightened Tagalog elder told to Los Ruiz, and this was confirmed by F. R. Nocida in his Old Dictionario Tagalog 1754. Also according to F. R. Nocida, the term Bathala or Badala was only used among Tagalogs who had connections with Malay Hindus or Mohammedans i.e. those from Manila to the south specify moreover the Tagalogs did not remember the word Bathala, Betala or Badala until it was popularized again by Filipinos when they learned from lightly written chronicles that the indigenous Tagalog god was called Bathala. Bathalismo is a religious movement in the Philippines whose mythology is partly borrowed from Christianity. Bartholo is a name in this movement hence its case markers in Tagalog, seeing e in K. In classical Tagalog, Bartholo being a title, not a name has the markers of common nouns and slash ng slash, so e.g. end unit and Bartholo darp out nutting sundin but god we must obey. The same rule applies to diros and diros slash, ng diros slash so diros. Regarding the word Bartholo in Baybayan with the characters written from top to bottom Pedro Patano 1915 in Pambit 2108 considers that the bar character stands for Babi woman slash female the la character for lalaki man slash male and the how character for the rays of spiritual light beaming from heaven or the holy spirit of God. According to him this was the concept of the Holy Trinity before the arrival of Christianity in the Philippines 137 Patano, was a self-styled Renaissance man. He was educated in philosophy and theology, and he held a doctorate in law. He also wrote several books on Filipino ethnology including La Antigua Civilization Tagalog, the book in which he first imagined the Bartholo Baybayan connection, which some people today misconstrue as a proven part of ancient Filipino spirituality. Jose Rizal no less wrote the following in a letter to his friend, the ethnologist Ferdinand Blumentritt. In regard to the work of my countryman P.A. Patino on Bartholo, I tell you pay no attention to it, P.A. Patino is like this here Rizal drew a line with a series of loops I can find no word for it, but only a sign like this more loops. I am anting anting the post colonial esoteric belief system and traditional occult practices of the Tagalogs. Bartholo, also known as the Infinito Dios or Nuno, is identified with the magical power of the Chud or Galing that resides in amulets and talismans.